the first thing you have to understand is, um, you know, education is one thing. You gain knowledge and you'll become well-read, but really what is your life plan? And I think there's a process about how you go through that. Uh, I think when you're on the college campus, no different than when I was on the college campus, I was a student athlete, you're, you're a little bit of in a, in a cocoon, and there's, there, there's a there, there's a safety net there in a sense, and once you leave that environment and you get out into the working world, there's a couple things you have to ask yourself. Uh, first of all, uh, your priorities. What do you hope to achieve? And in your walk through life, as you achieve things, success and sometimes failure, how do you handle those? And then at the end, when you gain a title, whatever that title may become, what will you do with it? Will you make a difference for others with the titles that you've earned? I mean, that's kind of important. That becomes a part of your legacy. That becomes a part of your your time here that you have. Are you willing to to serve others maybe less less fortunate than you? Yes, yes, yes. That university has done a fantastic job. I mean, I, I could develop from ground. From, I mean, sorry, it was from the beginning. When, when Coach Levin was first there, they were trailers. I mean, where it's at now compared to where it was, and I, I, I think when I got there, when did I get there? In 90, what, 6? Somewhere right around there, 95, 96. I think that's when the program first started. And for where it's at right now, I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it, this is what I know, and, and you know this as a coach. You're going to get great athletes there because you're going to get a lot of the athletes that don't go to Miami, that don't go to Florida, okay? You're, you're getting a lot of those guys. There's a lot of great athletes here in this, in this Tampa area. Well, you know, I know Skip. I mean, it's like anything else. Um, you know, wins and losses are <laughs> – this football thing's hard, man. And, you know, you can look back at a coach's career and see – whether you have a good season or a bad season, and you can go back five or six games, and there's probably 20 plays in a season that define the outcome of it. And when you make half those plays, you're, let's say in pro football, you're 10 and 6. When you don't, you're 6 and 10. <laughs> I mean, that's what it all boils down to be. I mean, in the National Football League, there's 12 teams that go to the playoffs every year. Why don't those same 12 teams go every year? Generally, the average of five of them don't go every year. They never repeat. They got the same coach. Got a lot of the same players. I, I don't know Willie. I know Tony, Tony Dungy knows him very well. I know that. And, and you know, I'm a part of Tony's. You know, we, we came to Tampa together, Tony and myself, when I was in Tampa for five years. Oh. The best highlight of my career is, uh, if you can imagine this, um, being a starter as a rookie but not being drafted. I wasn't drafted. I was a free agent. Well, I mean, obviously, the first thing is, um, the one thing you learn about football is you have to have discipline. You have to have discipline. It, 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 that, that is probably the, the number one thing you learn. And then there's accountability that's involved in this. You have to be accountable. You have to be accountable to your teammates. You know, maybe one of the greatest things about football, and I tell people this all the time, is the huddle. Because when you walk in the huddle, a couple things happen. There are all shapes and sizes of the players, different religious backgrounds, race, economic status, political views. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. See, football is a, a level playing field. When you walk in the huddle, everyone's after the same thing. You want to have success on that play. So there comes the trust factor. You know, trust is a wonderful thing because, you know, it's, it's by faith, not by sight. So you got to trust guys in the huddle. Even though the, the guy might not like to play the same kind of music you like. It doesn't matter. And, and, and you might not even, you, you might not go out and have dinner with the guy, but you respect the guy. Because you're both, you're, you're both after the same thing.